Is that just how do you how do you feel you've changed this program? I believe I've like Paint Paint said after the game. Like I think like my my class came in and we we, we raised the bar for Purdue basketball. Uh, we we raised expectations and we won the, we won the Big Ten back to back years by, by multiple games. Uh, we made that that Final Four that was eluding us forever. And, made the finals and for it to end this way obviously sucks but I, I think me and my class we came in we went our butter business the right way we handled stuff professionally we worked hard and, and then we raised the, the bar for new basketball going forward. Zach you were pretty stoic when you were coming off the court and you gave a high five to a fan but what kind of what are the emotions that you were battling with when you were going back to the locker room? Yeah um I'm kind of a, a stoic guy um but obviously everyone shows shows grief in a different way um, but for me, I'm always trying to represent Purdue the right way. Obviously, um, you never want to like you never want to lower your head. You never you want to keep your head high no matter what. Um, when you have the Purdue jersey on, so that's, that was the only thing in my mind. Second, the first half it looked like you and Dan Hurley maybe exchanged some words. Can you tell us what happened in that exchange? That's just between us. Zach, you uh, you had to date a dunk late in the game, and you lit up kind of a, a roar, knowing you left it all out there, knowing it was your last game. Was that just kind of a Expressing the frustration it was in such a game like this. Yeah, uh, when you play against a team against like UConn, um, like that, you gotta be perfect for 40 minutes. Um, and there were some stretches where I wasn't perfect, and that that, that came back to bite us. Um, and at the end of the game, like just you kind of reflect on all the all, all the all the mistakes that you made in the game and what you could have done better. Um, obviously, there's nothing I can do to change it, but but yeah, that was just. I was, I was just frustrated. Zach, what do you hope your legacy is here at Purdue? Um, I don't think that's, that's up for me to decide. Um, I think, like, obviously, the Purdue, Purdue will, will, will determine my legacy. Um, but I think, for me, um, I, mean, I think for I th you can say anything you want about my game. You can say anything you want about how I play. But I don't think you can ever say that I never stepped on the court and didn't give it my 100%. Um, I never took a night off. I never took a practice off for four years. Um, I, I just I left everything on the court every time I stepped on, and uh, that's that's the only thing I want to be remembered for. Zach, exactly. are you willing to, to, you know, after four years of what you did, this goes beyond setting the standard at Purdue. You may have changed the game, considering you know the dearth of big men for the last few decades. Are you, are you willing to consider that you may have changed the game? You know, it goes beyond setting a standard in Purdue. Um, I mean, I, I just played basketball the way that um, I thought was most effective. I wasn't worried about kind of how um, people might perceive my game or how people um, think I should play. Um, I knew the way that I played helped Purdue win basketball games, and that was the only thing that was important to me. Zach, what's that burden like? Just You talked about perfection, holding yourself to that. I mean, what's that like? I mean, it's, it's what everyone expects out of themselves. Um, you, you go to up and down our roster, everyone, everybody wants to be perfect in every game they play. Um, it's, it's, it's a tough thing to to achieve, but it's what you strive for every single time you step on that court. So I you know you're the people coming back. Now the bar's been raised, obviously. You saw what that loss did last year for this program. Can this elevate these guys to that next step, just the momentum, the you know, the fire inside to, to finish the job? I got I got so much trust in um, everybody, like all the underclassmen, everybody that's going to come back. Um, I got so much belief in them, and I have so much admiration for the way that they've handled themselves. Like I remember how I was when I was young, and to see how they act when they're when they're young, um, it's amazing. And I think that they're going to continue to have success with uh, without me. What did this team this year, this program mean to you? It was, yeah, I'm so proud. Um, Everybody on this roster, uh, the way that we we back, we came back after that loss. Um, like we we've heard everything. Every time we stepped in an away gym, we heard everything. Every time you go on social media, you, you hear everything and you see everything. Uh, and it never affected us. Uh, we stayed professional. We never responded. We never let it change us. Um, like we're the same people. Uh, like nothing, nothing got us out of who we are. Um, and we, we continue to battle that adversity on the court and continue to let that motivate us. And I'm so proud of the way that everybody on this team um, responded.
do you think it's resonated with you just how much of an impact you've made with the fans and they've been obviously you guys have been through a lot the last four years with the fans that have been part of this program for 40 50 years you guys have lifted them up in such a positive way is that something that has resonated with you yet or something you'll have to look back on later in your career um i mean it's something that you kind of it's a, it's a tough thing to kind of think about and talk about right now, kind of the, the way that you positively impact the team when you're coming off a loss. But um, like when, when we were when we were subbing out the game at the end of the game, um, the whole student section was, was chanting like my name, saying thank you. Um, like it's, I think I've, I've always said Purdue has the best fans in the world. Um, like win or loss, they're, they're always proud of us. They always support us, and they always they come and show up. Um, I wish we could have we could have done this for them today, but I know the the Purdue fan base. Um, like, like like when I check out, like, that's when I kind of realize like yeah, these they really appreciate me, um, and that's something I'll, I'll I'll be proud of the rest of my life. Zach, how did Matt Painter impact you as a person and a player? Uh, every way. Um, like I came in, I came in like not a lot of coaches. Like I, I feel like I'm, I'm like a, a broken record saying the same thing. But like not a lot of coaches believed in me. Um, people say it's crazy. Like I was from, I was seven four off playing at IMG, but like it's true. Like people, coaches came in, looked over me. Um, coaches came in to watch other people play, saw me, and looked over me. Um, not a lot of coaches really believed in me, but Payne, Payne came in. He believed in me from day one. As soon as I got on campus, he's always honest with me. He never, he never tried to, to promise me something he couldn't deliver. Um, he, just, he worked with me. He believed in me. He kept giving me the ball. Um, all the coaches, like Coach, like Coach Brantley, I can, I can't thank him enough. Like we got practice ends at 5:30. I'm in there till like 7:30, 8, 9. Like, like watching film with him, trying to get better. And he, he's got a wife. Like he, he has other stuff to do. He, he's staying out there because he believes in me and he, he sees something in me. Um, and I'm just so thankful to every single coach that's helped me along the way at Purdue. I know this is down the road. But what do you think your performance proved for that next level? Two minutes. I'm not sure. I've never, I've never really been concerned with my, my NBA stock. I believe that I'm a college basketball player and I should, should help, help Purdue uh, try to win games. Um, they're going to they're gonna think what they want to think. Um, whether that's positive or ne negative isn't, isn't something I have to control, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to go out every time I step on that court and give my 100% and try to win that. It's going to be your defining memory from Purdue. Cutting down the nets at the Elite Eight. Um, yeah, there's not much more to say. That's that was, that was the most special feeling I've had at Purdue. What kind of toll does a long run like this in the postseason take on you? I mean, obviously you get tired, but it's, it's what you want. I'm not, no one's complaining about playing more games in March Madness. Um, obviously, kind of the, the, the minute load that I, I, I took on uh, it wears down on you, wears down your legs. But I've never been one. Like I don't believe in, in being tired. Um, I think Purdue always needs me on the floor, and I think Purdue always needs me to be productive. Like, I don't have time to be tired. Um, so I think it, it, it like the that minute load and that that run is, is a blessing. What does it mean personally to come into Purdue overlooked and the work you put in and you leave and players like LeBron James, Shaquille O'Neal are all fans of yours now and believe in who you are as a player? Um, like it's amazing it's just to just to know these guys. Um, obviously I'm gonna I'm gonna go and play at that level next year. But I got I got so much respect for those guys. So much respect for Shaq, so much respect for LeBron. They've they've done everything that I want to do. Um, it's, it's just, it's, I guess, surreal. How long do you think you're going to keep all that stuff in your phone case? And where, where will you put it if, when you take it out? I'm not sure. I'll probably keep this phone case forever. I got uh, this confetti in here from last year's Big Ten <laughs> Championship and the Big Ten Tournament. Um, and then I added some more, obviously, this year. I'm not sure. Which, which scar will you be most okay, proud guys, of? We're done. We have to close the, the locker room down. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. The Mason one? Probably the Travion one. <laughs> that was the first one I got. So probably the Travion one.